Mr. McGinty. Good morning, Your Honors. Good morning. May it please the Court. I'm Attorney Sean McGinty. I represent Mr. Lucero. I was his trial counsel as well as his uh, counsel at this point. Uh, this is a case uh, involving um, a decent assault and battery. Uh, the case was scheduled for trial on March 12th of 07. Uh, the the, witness, with the witness and her guardian go to the wrong place, and Judge yes. Murphy dismisses it. Or no, strike no, that. And there's a finding of um, not, not guilty. guilty. That's correct. Where does he get the authority to do that? Um, that was done in Commonwealth versus Super uh, before this court, the year mm -hmm. 2000. I said in my brief. Uh, and that was a case. By us? Yes. That even, was though case the, actually, even though the complainant was in another, was it was in the courthouse, but in the wrong place. Witnesses weren't there at all. Period. Yeah. In that particular Would, case. In that case, they weren't there at That's all. That's correct. Yeah. And no evidence was taken in this case, correct? That's correct. <coughs> That's the same as in, in the super case. There so no you witnesses. would agree there's no double jeopardy here? Uh, I would say uh, there was no double jeopardy here. Okay. Well, but, but by definition, if you, were, if, you, if you accept a finding of not guilty, then jeopardy has certainly attached because that's the disposition of the case. I stand corrected. I would, I would say I do. Well, that is my position. They would say jeopardy does attach. Uh, the witness clearly was told to come to room 220 of the district attorney's office and sits in another courtroom. Clearly, as, as my uh, brief outline, is a very reluctant witness. Uh, my client's daughter, who's uh, now almost 17. Um, it was a, uh, witnesses were there. My client uh, waived the jury. Um, witnesses didn't show up. Judge directed a verdict. Um, and the judge can do that. And it has happened uh, in other cases uh, where they uh, count even on an opening statement. Come with con judge can direct a verdict on an opening statement without any witnesses. So I'd say this is akin to that. This is akin to what the, uh, what the court allowed in uh, in the super case. What is the site of that? I'm sorry. This um, that's in my brief. Uh, I just that's don't have it here. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, um, it's me. That is uh, the 2000 case. It's 431. 431. 492. 492 and 493. Thank you. That's correct. Um, that case, the uh, Commonwealth didn't have their witnesses. It was for sort of a short notice case. Uh, in that case, as a matter of fact, the Commonwealth moved for a continuance and it was denied. In yeah, this but case, the Commonwealth didn't move for a continuance. But the trial had already started in that case, didn't it? No. No, it did not start in that case. Uh, the, the prior to the trial, the Commonwealth moved for continuance. The judge denied it. In this case, the Commonwealth never moved for continuance until three hours after the judge already made his ruling. And matter of fact, in this case, uh, that case, uh, the Commonwealth filed a 211-3 petition the same day uh, of, of the court's ruling. In this case, the court Commonwealth waited 44 days until after this occurred. Um, I suggest at this point, Judge, the, I'm asking uh, that um, my client be allowed to get on with his life. This is a case where the weak, very weak evidence, the, com the complaining witness made three separate recantations to different people. One we, who can't, was we really can't get into well, that. Well, isn't that up for the jury to decide? Yes, it is for the jury to decide. But <coughs> what I'm saying is this isn't a, just a case where the, where the court should overturn what the judge did. It's, it's a case with very little uh, evidentiary value, um, along with the Commonwealth, the witnesses' very reluctance to testify. Thank you, Mr. McGinty. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, may it please the court. Jane Sullivan for the Commonwealth. Uh, Judge Murphy had no authority to do what he did in these circumstances. Jeopardy had not attached. There was no trial on the merits. No judge has the authority to enter a not guilty verdict before trial has begun or Jeopardy attached. What do you say about the super case? Super Jeopardy had attached because the judge, even though it was over the Commonwealth's objection, um, and the Commonwealth had asked for continuance and was denied, the judge started impaneling the case. And the prosecutor er, in that case um, just simply said, well, I'm not moving for trial. I'm essentially not participating. And this court said, no, you can't just pick up your football and go home. You have to play, stay in the game. The case, and you yeah. can get the stay. You can ask for a stay. But what you can't do is what you did. And in this case, uh, the defendant did um, 
uh, say that he wanted to go jury waived. There was a colloquy about that. There was inquiry about the witnesses. The prosecutor represented that she had spoken with the victim and witnesses over the actually weekend. Actually had issued a subpoena, as I understand. The, a, had actually issued the subpoenas. And there's an affidavit from the victim and the witnesses that they were actually in the courthouse at 8.30 in the but morning. How is that relevant? Whether they were there, they'd gone to the wrong right. courthouse, that has nothing to do with the judge's, whether jeopardy is attached and whether the judge appropriately made the ruling. Right, that, 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 that's absolutely true, Your Honor. <coughs> and the, the fact of the matter is right. The double jeopardy issue uh, is key here. This wasn't even a sham trial as it was in Gonzales, cited in my brief, or in Louder where trial had started and the prosecutor had given his opening argument. Jeopardy simply had not attached. The judge should not have done what he did. Um, at worst, he should have, uh, or he could have dismissed the case without prejudice. I would be arguing that even that would be extreme in the circumstances here that came to be known, but he certainly could not have entered a required finding of not guilty. And so for those reasons, I would ask this court to affirm the order of the single justice and remand the matter to back to the superior court for trial. Thank you, Ms. Sullivan. Thank you. 